wasn't terrified. They were determined to, to change things in the South. You got to live it. Did you grow up here? Big welcome here. Tell me what it's like to live in Greenville. What it like living in Greenville? Um, it's kind of up and down, up and down. You can go how you, however, it what you make it of. Yeah. Tim and all of those created. Oh, yeah, yeah, it says so, Christmas tree. So that yeah. was it right there? That was it. That's it. It's a lawyer's office now. Come by Simmons Place at 12 o'clock. I'm, I'm, I'm having a four hour beat. Well, actually, the history of uh, uh, blues in Birmingham goes way back because we had Ma Rainey, Bessie Smith. They all performed in, in that old building down the street, the Frolic, the, uh, the Frolic Theater. Oh, that's torn down now. Right. So how aware were you at the time of, obviously you were musically aware, but of the sort of segregation of black and white music and audiences? Well, it, it was a thing that we just knew that we had places we would go. Mm -hmm. uh, our churches and all, and we, we knew that for whites out there, but you know, we, we just uh, didn't pay that much attention. And of course, what happened is, when I got my band and all, we, we would have these places where the, the, the jazz music, and blues musicians too, would come at night. And we were all brothers, we, you know. We just didn't do things in the daytime, but we, we got ideas from different each other. How do young people feel about blues now in this town? I don't really listen to blues. No? But, but I'm kind of old school. I listen to some of them, some of them. Like that, what? B.B. Um, King. Down home blue, the type of stuff like that. I like yeah. it. Too. What's your name? Sammy Kincaid. Nice to meet you, Sammy. Yeah, it used to be back over that way. 
What street would that have been? I believe it was on Capitol. Capitol? I believe. My name is Andrew Gilmore. I'm, I'm from New Orleans. I graduated in 91. I was born in 71. I'm just a political refugee. The stone out the Katrina Stone Cave. That's what had came. That's what brought me out here. Oh, so you've been here ever since? Yeah, I'm saying. Can I sing something? I'm Please do. I'm a young black Rockefeller. I get paid like a bank teller. Because a fool and his dough going to split. So when you come across a fool, get all that you can get. They just get y'all paper too. Don't expect for no man to support you. My woman independent make it dope by the caseloads. I'ma keep building. I'ma make a million. I'ma grow old with my children. That's where it's at. What are the people like? Unique. Unique. <laughs> Everybody's got their own style. It's like a melting pot down here, you know that? Everybody's accepted, you know? It's the place to be. The French Quarter. Motivation for the killing. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. You looked at my girl. You owe me five dollars. But I'm an individual who used to be a part of the problem. God saw fit to change my life, turn my life around. So now I would like to give back because I would like those individuals to know that this could be done. Because looking at me, I could tell them I was yeah. part of the life. Yeah. I had been shot twice. I served nine years and seven months. So I didn't been there and done that. So they're using individuals like myself yeah. to help someone else. We see a change. Like I say, things are not going to change overnight, but mm -hmm. they're changing. Yeah. They're changing. I love what I do, but it's something that has to come from your heart. You have to have real love for these people, not just say that you love yeah. them. You have to mean it. Georgia, 
My name is Rob Mega, nice to meet you. Auburn Avenue is one of the historical places where you can go to see just what we go through through the society and just the way of life and the, you know the, the, the arts on the building on the sides, the, the graffiti and all that good stuff. skills are better than you. Involved in politics, we're Americans, we're citizens, you know, we're not just like foreign people in some unknown land. You know, we are, we're here with everybody else. This is what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Yeah. 